Sujai Sarkar is a chief engineer with the Shago College, TV, and uh, he's an outstanding, out, outstanding person. Actually, uh, there was a documentary which was done by Shago College about my book, The Last Smile, which I wrote last year. And uh, Sujai uh, and his team, Chad, is Chad here too? They did an excellent job. And the dean, uh, Dean Carter uh, of Shago College, uh, was very thoughtful of him to think of uh, making a documentary on my book. And here is Sujai, Sujai Sarkar. Thank you, everybody, and it was a pleasure working on Jivan's uh, book. Uh, Chibo College has been expanding their facility to do such programs as this and more community-related programs. We have taken over the Comcast public access channels, and the more cities that sign up, the more programs we can do for you. So it's unlimited, and it doesn't cost anything because the funding comes directly from Comcast and or AT&T UVerse, and it goes all around the state. We also have a high definition studio now available with reaching out to the entire world, literally, because we're also live on the internet. So I thank you very much. I would like to call upon Dr. Krishna Reddy, please, to join me here. Dr. Reddy. Last but not the least is our own ISCF director who was the president for four years and he did an outstanding job promoting unity within the board, within the community and I would like to invite Shashi Sharma to be with us here please. Shashi. It looks like Shashi has left. Now, I'm going to announce Journalism Award, Excellence in Journalism. India Currents magazine, which started about 25 years ago. Well, it did start 25 years ago because they just celebrated their 25th anniversary. And the publisher, Vandana Kumar, I hope she didn't leave town. I would like to invite Vandana Kumar for promoting unity and diversity through that magazine. It, it truly is a magazine which promotes diversity. And we are very honored to have Anna with us. Thank you, Anna. I'm honored to receive this award. And I couldn't have done this without my team. Uh, two of them are here. I'd like to recognize Vidya and Malini. Can you guys come up? And thank you, IACF, for recognizing our efforts of 25 years to serve the Indian American community. We started at a time when the World Wide Web was just forming, and social media existed only on the back pages of a print media. In the beginning, we looked only to bring the Indian community together. Today, India Currents has expanded to actively build bridges between the South Asian communities and the larger American community, between generations, and also exploring what it means to be a hyphenated, in, hyphenated American. Our publication thrives because of the support and encouragement of the very community we serve. Thank you, ISEF, especially Jeevan, for conducting this fabulous event every year. Let's celebrate another 25 years together. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, our program is just about uh, winding down. We do have an exciting speaker coming up, but before we move on, can we have Mary Mendoza from Senator Corbett's office, front and center, please, for another 
special award to Jiva Sushi and the IACM. On behalf of uh, State, Senator, uh, State Senate Majority Leader Ellen Corbett, um, we'd like to present a State Senate resolution for the 10 year anniversary of uh, the Indo American Community Federation and to Jivon for their dedication and commitment to the Tri City area and the state of California. So thank you, Jivon, so much. We also have sponsors, and uh, I think Comcast, he had some other uh, engagement. He is not here. But we have from Mayuri Indian Restaurants. Who are a sponsor of this event? I would like to request uh, Surinder Zulshi to please come and uh, receive the sponsorship uh, award for the owners of my event. We have Honorable Mayor of Milpitas, and he has to present a purple mission here. Thank you. I'm also very honored to be here tonight to congratulate the foundation. Filipinas is a very uh, culturally diverse uh, city and we are growing and strong because of our diversity. So I want to congratulate the uh, foundation for what they have done for so many years today. So congratulations, Jivan, proclamation from the city of Filipinas. I would also like to recognize the presence of Rok Hanna here. Rokhana traveled all the way from Washington, D.C. just to be with uh, us and be able to celebrate this event, Unity and Diversity. He has not missed a single event in the past several years. And Rok, thank you so much for traveling all the way. Thank you very much. And I know Rahul and Anthony also came from Washington, D.C. today. And I know it's a difficult ride, but thank you very much for being with us. Thank you. All righty, ladies and gentlemen. Mike, could you come up front center, please, and introduce our next speaker? I just wanted to thank each and every one of you for allowing me the, uh, the privilege. Oh, there you are. Surprise me there. Where's Mr. Tubak Chuck? I'm coming hunting for you. Where'd you go? Where's Basil? There you go. Okay. Got a date at the bar. I want to thank uh, each and every one of you for the honor and privilege of being with you tonight. Um, and thank you, Jivan. You're going to say goodnight, not me. Thank you very, very much, and uh, our final speaker tonight will be introduced by Mike. All right, let's give a really big hand to Jim Weider. Give him a big hand. Thank you, Jim. Woo! All right, everybody, grab your program guide and turn to the front of the back cover, and I'm going to introduce an incredible person born. Pitch, close your eyes a moment. Picture this. Born during the Korean War time, 1946, Lunar New Year. Considered abandoned during the Korean War time. Today, she is recognized as the hope of the country of South Korea, the pride of the country. Coming to America 2002, Woman of Achievement Award. She has her own computer company, Lighthouse Worldwide Solutions. She's the CEO and founder. She's the icon of success for technology division. She won Best Place to Work Award right here in Fremont. She is author of several different books. She's a lecturer. She's a life coach. She's Susan B. Anthony Award winner. She is incredible. She's here today. She teaches at her school right here in Fremont to all of our children and to ourselves. I want a really warm welcome. So many different accomplishments. Just came back from a tour of Korea. Go, everybody's going crazy. That's her sponsor. That's her company, Lighthouse Worldwide Solutions. And we can all say together, this is her motto. He can do, she can do, why not me? Please welcome Great Grand Master and Dr. Taehyun Kim. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. How are you doing tonight? Okay, you don't speak English, I'm going to speak in Korean. You seem like you didn't hear me. Um, seriously, I thank Marigal for this opportunity being here with you. And I'd like to thank you, Jibang. I'm just going to take only two minutes. This is something really amazing. Started this uh, unity and after 9-1-1. Now, as you know, that the worldwide many things are happening. As you know, the March 11 in the Japan, the tsunami, earthquake, and nuclear wars, all these buildings and people is suffering. Who ever thought 
you will have a next day that I will lose my homes and I will lose my family. No one taking that. Not even you. I was in a Korea, I just get back eight. The people, many friends, is living in that country. What I'm trying to say is that tonight we say that unity. What are we talking about? Unity we sharing heart to heart. So I say tonight, read choice in the lesson of the pain and hurt. It gives you strength, it gives you freedom. And celebrate every living breath as if this is your last breath. This really, I came to this country not knowing how to speak English, not knowing how to do with the $300 with my family. I started working Howard Johnson, pumping in the gas in the weekend, but today, 2005-2006, a best working area in Silicon Valley, I recognize and receive a award. Today, I am a hope of the country. City of Fremont, Mayor Bob Weissman sitting right here, he was in a, during the Korean War. I was only five years old. He was there, America was there for fighting for us. For me, who ever thought that I came to America here, stay, standing 2011 today, that I am acknowledging this. But my wanna say, celebrate every living breath as if this is your last breath. And he can do, she can do, what not me? I can't be this nation, this country. I didn't even know to say, I am hungry. I remember I standing in the line for dry milk so I can eat the food. Maybe this is funny to you. That was not funny to us when we were hungry. We were hungry, we were scared. And I came to America, this is a land of opportunity. What I'm saying is that, what is the unity this minute? Everybody sharing, regardless of cultures, difference. Regardless of way of lifestyle difference. We made this spot right here, we are together. And I'm looking forward many more years with many more people like Jivan and Arsha. Nobody mentioned his wife, I just want to really acknowledge that. Many more people, all of you beautiful people like you, make it happen. The last breath you take and you say, I did it. No regret in my life. I give the best punch in my life. So I just want to say, I want to thank you to all of you here. And I'd like to really bring the Shivan second. May I have that award to really acknowledge that. And especially, I really like that earlier who found that um, Indo-American Community Federation, that ladies, she gave a speech. I really enjoyed it. I'm looking for really connected that we share heart to heart again. Would you read that one? I'm going to read it here. The award of appreciation to Jivan, founder of the Indo-American Community Federation annual Unity Dinner. Thank you for your continued efforts to promote unity and understanding among the many multicultural communities around the world through the annual Unity Dinner. Change can only happen when action is taken. Thank you for taking action to bring about change. Presented on the 25th day of March, 2011. He can do, she can do, why not me? Dr. Taeyeon Kim. Thank you. So thank you very much. So now you see, everybody dream about it, thinking about it, you do not apply. There is no action. It's time for you to put in an action. Know that that is your dreams, your breath. Salute, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the American Community Federation, I would like to thank you all who gathered here at this wonderful and exciting event. 
We are honored to have you join this evening at this 10th annual Unity Dinner. We are delighted to see such an overwhelming response from different groups, different organizations and individuals representing our diverse community of the Bay Area. It's amazing, so much interest coming from so many people. We have, tonight, we have almost 14 plus working organizations here present to celebrate this event. We have diverse business and civic groups present. We have 20 plus public elected officials present. This really shows a true spirit and willingness for unity and solidarity. This is what the objective of our organization in the American Community Federation and the annual unity dinner in particular is to promote unity, to promote peace and harmony. We believe that we have been successful to accomplish our goal. We all have to remember, being together, we all can win, make a big difference and much bigger impact into our society. With that, I would like to extend my sincere and sincere thanks and appreciation to our keynote speaker, Dr. Mo Kayumi, our Congressman McNerney, Congressman Pete Starr, Assembly Member Mary Hayashi, and all our distinguished guests and honorees. Our sincere thanks to all our sponsors, cultural and community groups. This event could not have been so successful without lots of work and number of hours from many volunteers. I would like to recognize and name some of those. Please come forward to this stage. First of all, our board of directors, Subhaskar, Dr. Subhaskar, Keshav Ayare, Mr. Jeevan Chutshi, our chairman of the board, please come to this stage. Jerry Ahuja, Dr. Ras Salman, please come here to this stage. Shubhragar, Niru Sharma, Usha Jutsi, Mamta Ahuja, Tim Riley. Tim Riley, please come here. He has been supporting every year, all the time, this event. Please come to this stage. Steve Cho and Jim Wider, our MC. Jim Wider, please come. Oh, he left. Okay. Okay. Come on. So this is the team who worked behind the scene to make this night so special and exciting. Please give them a big hand. Thank you. A continuing great success for this unity dinner during the next coming years.